brakes. Why have we got the brakes? I'm low on fluid. What? Maybe it's just a loose fitting. Uh, no. Ah. So here we are champions under the N70 having a bit better of a look at it and we can see here that brake line is rusted clean through. Oh, well that's the fuel tank but down here the brake line rusted clean through. I'm going to try and undo these fittings and get them out. Uh, the reason I was looking at the brake system is because the clutch seems to be playing up and they run off the same fluid so I was thinking maybe I'm just low on brake fluid but you know to check that we've got to stop a leak and so we'll get these fittings off uh we'll check the rest of them around the car see which other ones need replacing we'll get some new brake lines made up bend them into shape and uh get this thing going again right on, let's do it all righty so we got Three of the brake lines pulled off in the end and four of the fittings snapped off doing that. Uh, so we're gonna go and get some new brake lines. This is what they look like. You just wanna bend them up to match the old brake lines as close as you can before you put them in. This pipe should come annealed, so it's really easy to bend. Just make sure you don't kink it. Um, you just get, get the brake shop to crimp the ends on with the right fittings. You know, you just take all your old stuff in. They'll cut it a length and you just bend it so it fits and chuck it on. Obviously it's important to make it so it's not rubbing on anything or not going to get caught on anything when you're driving over some uneven terrain maybe. But uh, yeah, it's as simple as that guys. The only thing left to do will be to top the fluid up and bleed these brakes out, which is a hell of a lot easier with two people. We've got this tool, but it's still a lot easier with two people to make sure your reservoir doesn't run dry. So the first thing you're gonna need to do is crack off the bleeders. These ones have little plastic caps over them. You can't find them, look under them. And this is the little tool we've got. Essentially, it's a tiny little vacuum pump. So you squeeze it together, it draws a vacuum and should suck any air bubbles out. But yeah, you'll drop the vacuum and it'll pull some fluid through into the reservoir and hopefully pull the air out. There it is working there. You can see the air getting sucked out and that means your brake should be working after that. Just tighten up the fittings before you disconnect it. And that's it guys, that's pretty much all there is to changing out your brake lines on one of these N70 Hiluxes. Uh, this is the front one, just to give you a bit of a look at on how the new tube comes and then I bent these up and get them pretty close out of the car before I chucked it in. Righto guys, so if you've watched this video, it's helped you, you've enjoyed it, anything like that, uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel and share it around. Like this is a new channel, we pulled these videos from the old one, so you'll be doing me real solid subscribing to this one and uh, any of the other ones if you want to. All right, guys, catch us.